Welcome to my channel, Red Chakra. If you like this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe, show support to the channel, grow spiritually, and connect with your higher self every single day. So, what I want to talk about in this video is Break the Matrix. This is about to be a little series that I'm doing. I'm going to be exposing everything, I promise you. And it's just the first video. This is just getting into it for anybody that's not woke or conscious or who don't know what's going on, you know what I'm saying? So, share this to people that don't know what's going on. Listen to me, bro. It's a war for your consciousness. You got to understand, your mind is a powerful weapon. Your mind has the power to create your reality. Um, Bro, your mind is a powerful weapon. When you take control of your mind, you take control of your power. You got to understand, everything we learned is a lie. Everything coming from school, religion, um, whatever come on, on television some stuff they put some things on television they show the truth but a lot of it is all lies it's all brainwashing they want to they want to take your consciousness so bad that they give us vaccines to take away our power they give us fluoride poison water to mess up our pineal gland to make us dumber they want to give us poison food but we're not supposed to be eating animals, bro. But I'm not going to hate on you if you do. Like, real talk. If you like to barbecue and make chicken and ribs. Or if you like to... Bro, you do what you want. I'm not going to hate on you just because of what you eat. Because it's not your fault. Real talk. It's not your fault. So, if you do eat, um, like, snacks or things that can lower your vibration. And that's probably... Well, that's really poison on the spiritual level. I'm not going to hate on you because it's not our fault. You know what I'm saying? We've been, we've been getting destroyed since birth. Everything we learned since birth was usually a lie. All this religion stuff be lies. They don't tell us nothing spiritual. They don't tell you to take back your power. In religion, they want you to worship somebody else other than yourself. They don't want you to understand that you are a God. Real talk. In the image you see on the picture, even people that know about the Illuminati, the people that control the world, the devil worshippers that control our world, that control everything. The all-seeing eye, the eye of Horus, this image you see right there, it's not even a bad image. It represents the eye of Horus, the um, all-seeing eye, which, it, which represents Horus, the Egyptian god. This is our black history that they steal from us and want us to think that it's bad. This image that you see represents our Egyptian history for African Americans. The matrix is so deep that even when you learn some information, it's not the whole truth. You know what I'm saying? You sit here learning about the Illuminati. You getting so scared of this, or not scared, but you feel a negative way towards this symbol. But in reality, this is not a bad symbol. It's just used to close off your consciousness. You sit here thinking, this this image is so bad, so I don't want to have no association with it or nothing. But in reality, it represents black people. It represents black people's history. It represents Egyptian history, our history that they steal from us. They These Illuminati members is stealing Egyptian symbols and making us think that it's bad when it represents us. And just like in your little religion that you probably worship, they tell you 666 is bad. 666 is black people's skin, which is melanin. 666 is black people, carpet, melanin, 666, dark matter, that's us. They talking about the 666 represents, represents the devil. 666 represents the mark of the beast. Bro, 666 is black people. They could have used any other number, 555, 333, anything. But they used the one number, or they used the numbers that represents um, black people. 666 is in the, in the environment. Melanin is in the environment. But it's in nature, it's, it's everywhere. It's in the universe and it's in black people. We black people got the most melanin. We black people are gods, bro. And they talking about 66 is evil. That's really black people, bro. And that's religion. That's what they want you to believe in religion. You got to understand, bro. Everything you know is a whole lot. Especially with television. Television is programming your mind. Making, making people scared of the dark. Pushing fear in people. Understand that the... You, you shouldn't be scared of the dark, bro. We come from the dark. We were sitting in the womb for nine months. We were literally sitting in the dark. We come from the dark. Television is programming people 
um, is blocking off your consciousness, block is messing up your belief systems, it's influencing you to do stuff a certain way that's probably negative, it's brainwashing, all that, bro. They put um, subliminal messages in cartoons, they put inappropriate stuff in cartoons. Bro, television is, bro, tell lie vision, tell a lie to your vision. Bro, it's programmed, bro, I'm trying to tell you, but I'm, but at the same time, I'm not telling you, don't watch TV, or you can do what you want. I'm not telling you not to do this or to do that. You can watch TV if you want. I still watch TV sometimes, but you got to have an open mind. You can't let this stuff influence you. You don't, you don't want this stuff to influence you the wrong way. Like, for example, what you call on shows like The Real Housewives of Atlanta or whatever, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about, them shows where they got them black women usually on these reality shows or whatever, acting crazy or acting a certain way. You know what shows I'm talking about, these reality shows. I mean, you can watch them for entertainment, but you're not, you're not supposed to be letting these shows take over your consciousness and influence you to be a certain way because it's all the agenda. They want you to be a certain way, and that's what they, and this is what they're trying to do to our children and do to the youth. So I'm not saying you can't watch what you want to watch, but you can get entertained, but you're not supposed to let these shows change who you are and take over your consciousness. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these shows got got people scared of the dark. Man, they um got people living in fear, like the news, of course. Bro, television is a big problem. They tell lies to your vision. Real talk. So, um, like I said, you you could watch TV if you want. You're just not supposed to let it um take you over. You don't want it to brainwash you. You need to watch television with an open mind and just not be getting brainwashed. You know what I'm talking about? Real stuff. These phones play a major role in keeping people asleep with social media. Well, that's the biggest problem. Bro, you got to understand, bro, it's a zombie apocalypse out here. Everybody glued to their phones. But I'm not saying you can't be on your phone. You can be on your phone. But a lot of these people are clueless they get influenced by these demonic evil celebrities um they use phones for the wrong purposes they're not using it to get any knowledge nothing they're using phones to be on tiktok just waste time on earth just be lost these people are lost bro. i'm trying to tell you these phones are taking people's souls bro they against peace people get soul snatched they they devote their whole soul to their phone that they don't even meditate they can't meditate because they're on their phone all the time talking to people that steal their energy talking to people that's not good for them at all a lot of your friends is zombies as well these people are these people don't have a soul and when i say they don't have a soul of course everybody has a soul everybody has a spirit but you are so disconnected from your soul to the point where it's like you don't have a soul. You're literally soulless because you're disconnected from your true self, your, your soul. These phones are snatching people's souls away, real talk. Because these people, the, these phones are blocking off people's consciousness. People are not growing spiritually at all because social media phones, they get influenced by these, these celebrities. They getting taught to worship their ego with the with the music everything and like i said you or bro you can listen to what you want but you're not supposed to let this music destroy you if you you can listen to songs like murder on my mom about um melly but you don't you don't want to go out and really murder somebody that's innocent you know what i'm saying so you know what i'm trying to say you can listen to what you want but you don't let the music destroy you and that's what and, and these people out here who's sleep they're getting destroyed by music they get influenced so much by these people who make music to point where they destroy their own life and they get their soul snatched these rappers are snatching people's souls because these people are losing themselves listening to other people and they get influenced by these other people like these celebrities that be making y'all want to get plastic surgery and make y'all want to worship sex they're turning y'all into demons bro but like i said you can listen to whatever you want you can do what you want, but you don't let this music destroy you. Real talk. The music nowadays wants you to worship your ego, worship sex, all that. You can still listen to it. I still listen to it. But you don't let it actually make you go out and have sexual intercourse with anybody just because a rapper said, oh, it's a good rhyme. But you don't actually go out and do it 
and have sex with everything because the rapper said it. But you can still listen to the music. You know what I'm trying to say. You can listen to what you want. I listen to what I want. But you don't let the music change who you are. We all got a good side and a bad side. Don't let the mute. Real talk, we all have duality. We have a good side and a bad side. You need to be both to be balanced. But you don't let the music make you live at your dark side. You know what I'm saying? So stop letting these phones and these social media demons influence you and change who you are. Now you got to stop watching the news. You can watch the news, but you don't let them put fear in you. Um, real Fear means false evidence appearing real. Fear is not a real thing, bro. Fear is not real. When you live in fear, demons can attach onto you. This is why I say fear is demonic possession. Because when you live in fear, demons could attach onto you because you messing up your aura. Demons could attach onto you and lower your vibrations and influence your mind to take over your energy. And then when they influence your mind, you're going to stay in fear. This is why they want you to fear death. They want you to fear all this stuff they push on the news because they letting demons attach onto you and take your energy, bro, and influence your mind so you don't wake up. They don't, bro, the, the whole, the mission is to make you, the mission is, is to not allow you to wake up. When you live in fear, all your chakras is blocked. You, you're at the root chakra, bro. You can't, you can't even tap into any other chakra you can't tap into no chakra if you're living in fear. Because when you're living in fear, you're at your root chakra. That's the first chakra. When you're living in fear, you're, you're at your root chakra. You can't move up to the sacral chakra or the solar plexus or the heart chakra, the um, throat chakra, third eye chakra, crown chakra. You can't move up when you're living in fear because it's, it's not letting you to, it's not, fear is not allowing you to stay balanced and it's not allowing you to be strong and it's not allowing you to be who you are your consciousness is being blocked off when you living in fear it's lowering your vibrations all that stuff and it's letting demons mess with you i'm trying to tell you and demons are keeping your vibrations low so they can keep taking your energy and keep messing with you bro that's what the news is trying to do um put demons all over people keep people living in fear keep people scared bro i don't watch the news period I haven't watched the news before I even woke up to spirituality because I knew all they talk about is negative stuff. I stopped watching the news like five, six years ago because it's retarded. Now I just know, now after getting information, I know what they're really trying to do to people. And they're trying to block off your consciousness, keep you in fear, all that, keep you traumatized, start race wars, um, push agendas, all that. News is a big problem that you, we, bro, we don't need to be watching the news at all. We're good without the news. We don't need to be watching the news, bro. Of course, the news can be useful, like if a storm about to come or if you want to check the weather, whatever. The news can be useful, but you don't want to dive into all that weird stuff that they be talking about, especially with these this um, corona stuff. You don't want to tap into stuff that's going to put you in fear. You don't want to tap into that stuff that's going to mess up your consciousness and brainwash you because real talk a lot of these um reporters that be on the news that be, you know the ones that be talking they be robots bro clones whatever i don't think they be clones they be real robots they don't even be real humans i'm trying to tell you so you want to stay away from the news because it's messing up your vibrations it's blocking your chakras and they just pushing agendas onto you real talk so stay away from the news stop getting brainwashed Stop watching these robots on television. They're not humans, bro. You're not watching a human talk to you. You're watching a real life robot. But um, the the news network is spreading fear, spreading agendas, messing up your chakras, and destroying you. Really, that's all. One of the most important things you could do to leave the matrix and break from the matrix is stop worshiping these celebrities. This is who. Y'all girls be looking up to, bro. Look at her. That, that's not a that's not a girl. I'm trying to tell you. That's a whole boy. Either that that's a boy that's under MK Ultra. Of course, it's gonna look like a girl. Of course, they got the little surgery, all that extra stuff. They have the power to do that. Think about all these movies they put out, making people look a different way, bro. They have a lot of money to do this stuff. Cardi B is a boy. That's all. That's like real talk. Um, that's the agenda they got going on. A lot of these celebrities is not what you think. A lot of these celebrities be really 
a lot of these girls be really boys, bro. A lot of these boys be girls. I'm, I'm gonna make a video about it too. A lot of these um, a lot of these people that you look up to got killed, bro, and they got replaced by some random or just um, or they just the opposite gender. Um, make you think that they're this gender. This boy got you um, got these um m males out here beating their meat to this WAP stuff. A whole boy made WAP, bro. This is the matrix, bro. A, a whole boy made WAP. Think about it, bro. You have to reprogram your whole mind. It be these girls be boys, bro. I'm trying to tell you, they got men masturbating to these dudes, bro. That's what they that's what they're doing to you. I'm trying to tell you. And man, if you don't think that they be making clones and make replacements, bro, I'm not trying to be disrespectful in any way, shape, or form, but this picture be scaring me. Like, bro, that's not Michael Jackson, bro, at all. That's, bro, I don't know, bro. I don't even think that's a human. Either that's a, a straight replacement or that's just a clone. That's not a human, bro. Michael Jackson got killed way before 2008 or 2009 or whatever what year he they said the michael jackson um person died bro he died way before that way before that this is not him it don't look bro bro come on man bro come on if you don't believe that they be making replacements they don't be cloning people they don't really be killing people bro just look bro this is not him at all this is bro he's long gone he's been he been dead since like probably the, probably the 90s bro 80s 70s you gotta understand this is not him this is not no bleaching skin bro the real michael jackson got killed this is a replacement or just a clone or actually it is a replacement but i'm sure this is a clone bro a clone where they messed up bad i don't know you gotta understand this is something else like this is just a robot they probably got a straight computer they probably got some type of um uh, some software or some um program where they really use some type of internet software where they actually create somebody on a web or something they really print them out i don't i don't know bro but you gonna you probably understand what i'm talking about this is not michael jackson he's long gone he's been dead for a minute and this is what's happened to a lot of these celebrities bro all you have to do is look at before and act after pictures they're not getting plastic surgery they not no plastic surgery and all that stuff that's just a cover up these bro they getting killed bro this, why, what's the point of signing your soul away? What's the point of selling your soul? You're going to die either way. You're going to get sacrificed or somebody just, bro, you're going to either get sac sacrificed or they're going to just kill you and replace you, especially if you speak out. And look, look at this picture. That's not her. She got killed. And this is a whole replacement, bro. I'm trying to tell you this. Is, this is a clone replacement. This is not the real my Nicki Minaj, bro. This is what's going on in the industry. So why worship people in the industry? Especially these women. These women be on some other stuff. So um I'm not saying you don't you can't listen to them like bro if you wanna listen to Nicki Minaj you can. If you wanna listen to Michael Jackson Jackson you can. Um I be li I I haven't listened to Nicki Minaj in a minute, but if she probably dropped the album or if this replacement dropped the album, I probably would listen to it, you know. Not saying but you have to understand I'm not if you take part in any of this, I'm not saying you bad or anything. But, bro, just you got to understand what's going on. Bro, Nicki Minaj has been dead, bro, for a minute. There ain't, ain't no plastic surgery or nothing. And this is, um, what's in it, Kim Kardashian? Bro, look at this. It's a huge difference. That ain't no plastic surgery. No, that's straight, what you call it. She got killed off, and that's a replacement clone, bro. They get killed off, bro. She been dead for a minute. I don't even understand how you transition to that. She like a wrestler, bro. Look at her on the right. I, I think that's a boy. I don't, I don't think that's a clone. It's probably a boy. Some of these celebrities be getting switched off. Like, they could be a boy, and they be giving them... These elites be giving them female um, whatever, and they turn into... And they really appear as a female. Bro, these, these devil worshippers know what they're doing. They know how to change somebody. That's probably a dude. Either that's a dude or that's a robot. That's a clone. I think that's the dude because when you look at the right, she probably got killed and it's probably a dude that came out to look like her. I don't know, bro. You don't know because it's like, not like a wrestler, bro. 
Just look at this look, bro. Use your third eye. Stop using these two eyes. That's a lot. Use your third eye and look look at the right image. Look at her shoulders. Look look at her chest, bro. Look look at her face, bro. Like do this do this not ring a bell to some people? That, that bro, I, I don't know. I don't know, bro. I think she got killed off. The real Kim Kardashian. And um a dude came along and they did some edits to him to make him look like a woman. And I don't know, and just made this. I don't know, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't know. You don't know what's going on. You can't even, bro. This the Matrix, bro. You can't even like. You don't even know, cause it's so much going on. All I can tell you is, whatever that is on the right, it's not what you think it is. And they got all y'all trying to be like her. Want y'all to act like her. Whatever. That's a that's a demon you're looking at. That's a that's a demon. Um, probably under a lot of MK Ultra. Controlling their mind. That's probably I'm, that's probably a robot. I'm trying to tell you. There's some more images. I don't know how that's cute to these women out here. I don't know. I mean, I can't blame you. These people lost in the matrix, and it's time to wake up. But it was probably a time where I thought this was cute, or I'm sure it was. I'm not gonna lie about it. But bro, it's time to wake up. That's not her. She got replaced probably by a boy that got edited to look like a girl. I don't know. This is a demon. Just let just un, just let just understand that this is a demon. That's all we gotta know. They want everybody to worship sex and want to have big butts, bro. Just be who you are. You don't gotta be like none of these weird celebrities. Be who you are, bro. But bro, I was all over the place with this video. Um, it's gonna be more parts to this series. I'm gonna be exposed to everything. This was just the the beginning. So this is the beginning. I'm going crazy all 2021. Real talk. I'm dropping a lot of videos. I'm dropping a lot of information, a lot of knowledge. We're going to go harder. Wake some more people up. It's not about the money. It's not about any of that. My main goal is to wake people up because I'm not going to be here forever. Let's not waste our life just being dumb. Like, like real talk, we can have fun. Like, um, they talking about all these foods be lowering your vibration. This be do like this and that. Bro, just live your life. I'm not trying to tell you to do this a certain way or this. Bro, live your life because we're not going to be here forever. So at the same time, it's like, don't be lost in the matrix to the point where you're going to have to reincarnate or something like that or forced into it. And you don't want to get your soul snatched. But, bro, don't be lost in the matrix, but have fun in the matrix because we're not going to be here forever. Even when you learn about some information, yes, it could be depressing. Yes, it could, um loyal vibrations because that's what it did to me um because i learned about this illuminati stuff back when i was back when i was a seventh grader i was a little kid when i learned about the illuminati bro and my dad told me told me about this i was a little kid bro having to hear that they bro it's a lot bro i learned about this when i was real little but the spiritual information came in 2018 but understand mate this stuff can lower your vibrations bro but but you want to just live your life and be happy if you want to eat snacks and you want to, if you want to um, eat restaurant food, bro, do what you want, bro. I'm not about to tell you what you can and can't do because you're not going to be here forever. I'm I'm not going to be here forever. We're not going to be here forever. If you want to eat all it, bro, do what you want, bro. If you want to watch these shows, do what you want. This is not to tell you to do this a certain way or be scared to do this, bro. Do what you want and live the way you want to live. A lot of people talking about eating meat is bad, whatever. Yes, it's bad. But if you like eating burgers, do it. You know, I'm not trying to be sound deceiving, but it's like, bro, do what you want because it's your life. We just here to give information and help you wake up and take back your consciousness. Because once you take back your mind, bro, you already taken a W. Once you put the information, don't end. You're going to always learn. There's always going to be more to whatever. But just live your life. Don't, um. Don't live accordingly to what someone else is telling you or whatever. Live your life how you want to do it. Be you. Don't waste your time here on earth. Do what you want. But of course, it's levels to whatever. Like, um, you don't want to just um, watch TV all day and don't meditate. You know what I'm saying? Um, you want to at least do some spiritual stuff. Do some spiritual work. But understand, bro. Live your life accordingly to how you want to live it do what you want um just be you but just don't but it's levels to everything 
but that's it bro it's gonna be a part two i'm um i'm exposing everything but if you like this video like share subscribe show support to your channel grow spiritually and love yourself thanks for watching like share and subscribe